Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here, and it's just less than four hours to go for the 27th October event in which Apple is supposed to announce the 2016 MacBook Pro and the updated 13-inch uh, MacBooks. But it's really, really unknown whether they'll be launching the newer iMacs, iPads, anything else, but only the Mac book pro and the macbooks have been confirmed by the kgi securities before just a couple of days so let's focus on the uh, next topic so before we proceed with the speed test of the final version or i would say the uh, mac os sierra 10.12.1 there's also another thing which needs to be considered that both the uh, ios 10.1 and the Mac OS Sierra uh, 10, 10 10.12.1 were released just uh, before uh, maybe a, a couple of days and here we go. So uh, the iOS 10.1 was mainly released for the iPhone 7 users uh, who are sorry iPhone 7 plus users for uh, their camera upgrade which gives depth of field effect for their iPhone 7 plus. Other than that for the iOS 10.1 it just gives transit directions in Japan and some minor bug fixes. So before we proceed with the speed test, I'll show you one way you could actually bypass the lock screen from your iOS 10. It was existing and I'll, link, I'll uh, give the link down in the description below from where I saw it and it still is existing in the iOS 10.1. So what you do is for that you need to first have access to the victim's phone. So what you do is you scroll up and you go to the alarm section go to plus and then right here go to sound and then right here pick a song and select type anything select all and then you need to share it then you go to message and just type some random number any letter and just type here double tap this green stuff right there now you are into the main screen now just close and let's lock the phone now the this is there now what to do here is just slide up go to the same alarm clock you will see the same screen and create your contact add photo choose photo and you see here you got all the photos and you could you know access all the photos and contacts as well just add to existing contact and then you have the list of all contacts right over here so this has not been patched yet in the iOS 10.1 you can see my phone is still locked on the top right here you could see the lock symbol which indicates that the phone is still locked and when I keep my finger it says now yeah it's unlocked now so this uh, bug has not been patched yet so coming back to our main topic so the Mac OS Sierra 10.12.1, let's see how fast it can perform by giving it up a speed test. So same procedures, we'll be doing the AJA system benchmark test and the Geekbench test, which will determine the read write speed as well as the single core and multi core score. Same procedures, I'll be back after I am done with the speed test because it takes up a lot of time. Just stay tuned for it. So guys, back after the Geekbench test and the AJA system benchmark test. So the single core score of the Mac OS Sierra 10.12.1 is 2627 and the multi core score of the 10.12.1 uh, is 5389. So any guess on what or how far the performance has improved or decreased? Has it increased or decreased? So if you guess that the performance was decreased, you were wrong actually the performance has increased slightly not much of a difference between the previous one so this is uh, from my previous video uh, in which i speed tested the gm and the final version so on the left you have the final version score 2607 for the final version or the 10 point uh, uh 10 12 .0. the single core score was 2607 and now it has gone up to a great score of 2627 right here and the multi-core score was 53.46 right there and it went up to 53.89 so there you can see a steady progression from GM version 2 to the final version to the current 
one steady progression of the performance improvement on your mac so that's great and second thing which they have patched in the uh, 10 point uh, 12 point one is some people had some siri issue like when they press the siri right there now you see it automatically and quickly pops out for some people actually the siri didn't come up quickly it took a lot of time so this thing has been patched as soon as you click siri is right away available at your service previously i even i was having the problem when you click siri it takes about five seconds to you know summon siri in front of you but uh now it has been fixed so i think i think that's the only thing which apple has done in 10.12.1 so now proceeding to the aja center system benchmark test and here you go this is the current test which i perform same one gigabyte of data and here also uh, let me do it so so this will be really small for you to read but i'll read that for you one gigs of data in each of the cases and um, now in the 10.12.1 one you have the write speed of 327.9 megabytes per second and a read speed of 331.7 megabytes per second if you check with the final version uh, in all three of them the highest write speed was 335.6 mbps so it has gone down a bit but this often happens when you do the geekbench or any benchmark test the results vary and the read speed was 331.7 megabytes per second and among all of them the highest read speed was yeah right here 339.4 so that has also come down a bit but not by a significant amount but it happens you know every time you test the conditions are different so different results so this brings the speed test of the uh, macOS OS 10.12.1 to a conclusion so less than four hours to go and i'm really excited what will apple launch in their event today will it be a macbook pro and will the rumors what we have seen be true so i'll show one prototype before i end this video like you have the uh led touch bar on the top which will be replacing the function keys and recently you know if you see my facebook channel i have posted one more link in which apple actually accidentally revealed that the macbook pro is coming with the touch id technology which is currently being used in the iPhones from the iPhone 5s and above. So that's it guys for this video and as soon as the Apple keynote is over I'll be making another video and then I'll be discussing what did Apple launch in today's event. I will be there. Please don't forget to watch the live event which starts at 10 a.m. PDT or 10.30 p.m. IST. So stay tuned guys. I'll catch you up when the keynote is over. Peace.